My name is Mark Evans. Uh, I'm originally from the Midwest. Uh, my daughters live here in, in Denver and I'm retired. Moved here about 18 months ago to be closer to them. The work that I'm doing and have been doing for the last five or six years, the structure of it is what I call power etching and it, it, it evolved from a time, about six years ago I lost my wife and I had quite a year after that and um, I visited a show, University of Wisconsin, and there were these large pieces of homemade paper with these large singed squares like they'd taken huge pieces of metal and heated them up and, and impressed them into the paper and it just sort of like, I had this sort of weird alpha moment like what? And I immediately went home and just took forks and knives out of the drawer and took all the grates off of my stove and just started dragging them across paper and, and making these sort of burn marks. That evolved into using task board, which is about a sixteenth of an inch thick and it, it allows for creating an actual etched groove. I use found objects, I use tools, I use various kinds of screws and things. This particular series I started sort of in the middle of the pandemic about a year or so ago. There was just the news feed and the nature of things was very dark and I felt like we were either trying to move, we were moving into a dark place or we were trying to get out of a dark place and so I was doing these um, sort of line uh, figurative pieces where they were coming out and when they got into the more airy, almost insect-like mode, they were kind of releasing. While there's a moment where there's a spark as to the subject that I'm working on, the process of doing it is more very immediate. And I'm just sort of following the, I'm just following the tool and the tool's hot and it gets black and then the tool cools off and it becomes more soft and so just hours and hours of doing that. That's, I had someone very dear to me that was affected by fire. Uh, so, there, so while I'm doing it, I also feel like it's a tribute in some respects to experience. Uh, and then also during the process of doing it, people who have influenced me, who have passed, teachers and whatever, seem to sort of percolate up in the time that I'm working. And it's, it's very sort of, uh, it's a wonderful sort of, uh, it, it makes it more than just, you know, a studio experience. It makes it a sort of a spiritual experience. Mm -hmm. uh, so the, pro, so the, in, the interim uh, transition that I'm doing now, I've been building these three or four inch deep structures with windows and little pieces, uh, colored and not colored sort of like a little shadow box. And I'm not really sure where it's gonna go because it takes a lot more work. But I think that I am going to take this sort of dimensional wall piece and create even more dimension using the same materials. There were times when I was doing these little boxes where I felt like I was a maker, you know? And at first when I said the word, I'm like, hmm. And then I thought, no, you know, uh, there is something about the, the uh, tradition of craft, which is hand stuff, which is very rich. So I think maybe by getting away from flat, it is kind of encouraging me to work dimensional. It's just a matter of how much. But I don't think that one should restrict themselves. So I think maybe I'll be working in longer in this format, but with more depth.